All right, what's up, guys? So back with another one, another quick Blaze Blue guide, and today we're going to be doing the most overhyped, the most fake difficult character in the entire game, Naoto. Naoto Kurogane. So if you know anything about the game, you know these Naoto players have been crying for years now about how difficult their character is, how their hands hurt, his combos are impossible, got arthritis. It's all an excuse. They, they, they might want to use that to explain why they lose, but they're only losing because they're bad. Trust me, this character is super easy. I've been playing him for one day. Literally one day. Within 10 games, I was already beating the old sweaty Naltos. He's not hard at all. So today I'm going to just show you what you need to know to get started if you do want to learn this character. Not that I... I don't know why people like this character. But anyway, like always, if you like these guys, if you like Blaze Blue, hit that subscribe button and let's go. All right, so here we go. Now to Kurgani. So the first thing I want to say with this character is that his uh, his optimal stuff is very hard. You know, his, the ceiling on his combos is very, very high. It's very, very difficult. And if you want to main this character, if this is the guy you want to commit your life to, eventually you're going to have to learn that stuff. But at the start, absolutely no need at all. His basic stuff is super easy. I'm talking like the easiest character I've ever played. Granted, I haven't, I haven't played mine yet. So uh, combos... Forget about it. You know, the Nautil player's got really advanced stuff using dash cancel and all this stuff, but his basic combos, you, you gotta learn one combo. Ready? Here it is. Ready? You launch after the Rekka, jump BC, jump BC, DP. That's it. Solid 3,000 damage. Keeps you right on top where you need it. Basically goes off anything, right? A, A, A. Again, launch. Is it flashy? No. Is it effective? Yes. That's all you need to worry about. The only, uh, the only warning, though, is if you start off a, a A starter... You can't launch. So end it instead with just uh, that far one right there. Okay? So yeah, like off an overhead. Launch. Off a, like a, a stray hit. Launch and just end it. That's it. That's literally it. Okay, you, you're now a Naoto combo master. For his neutral, now this is where he gets tricky. You know, in the other videos, I kind of pointed out this is the god button with his character. You should press this button. Naoto doesn't have any god buttons. He, he's not a real, like, what's it, like a, a neutral base character. His, his buttons aren't really that good. He's only good when he's really up close like this. This is when he gets scary. So in the neutral, instead of, like, you know, keeping your distance and playing footsies, forget about that. You hold forward like this. This is how you play his character. Just run forward. You need to be in their face. Got to get in there somehow. So either on the ground or through the air. So he's going to teach you how to move, how to get around, which is really good for learning this game. Uh, universal advice, not just for Nalta, but learn how to break. Right? This is very, very necessary for anybody in Blaze Blue. Learn how to run FD barrier to break. It'll help you get in. But yeah, like, once you get in, you just kind of do whatever you want. <laughs> I'm being serious. His close range buttons are really good. Uh, two A's are low, two B's are low, three C's are low, six A's an overhead. So his block string, you just kind of mix up, and then you got to sneak in this. This is his only real tool, I would say, to crack people open. But what you do, your block strings are really long because not only your normals, but this wrecker right here. This is probably your key move. The Rekka. Uh, Rekka means it's three parts, right? One, two, three. What you can do, though, is people... You can stop it after one. So you stop it after one. Now, your opponent is afraid to attack because they think the second one is going to come out. Instead of doing the second one, you just keep going with the block string. So it's something like this, right? It's not a real infinite. Of course, they can get out. But it's the fear. The fear of that Rekka will stop them from attacking, allowing you to reset your pressure... Keep these block strings really, really long, and then eventually, after you get them conditioned enough, you crack them up with the 6A. Crack them up with the 6A like that, or even something like this, right? Or you can run up throw. That's literally the gist of it, is you smother your opponent, you stay on top, reset your pressure with the Rekka, and then eventually open them up. Very, very, very straightforward. Very, very, very basic character. One other thing I guess you need to know is, like, how to use meter. So, earlier I talked about his advanced combos. They're very, very hard to do. They involve... His enhanced specials, which, uh, for example, this is his Rekka here, and this is the enhanced one. See how I have the blue shadow behind? You enhance your specials if you do it out of a dash. Now, the advanced combos require you doing that mid-combo. It's quite hard. Forget about it. But in neutral, you should learn how to do it in neutral. For example, Slash Kaido is quite good. You see the range on that? On hit, on counter, you get a full combo. With meter, you get a combo. So that's a decent tool as well. But the big one, the main Naruto special... Of course, it is this one. The run-up DP. So not only is DP good on wake-up as a reversal, but in neutral, because of how far it goes, you see that hit from there. How far it goes, it's a great way to stop people who are trying to run away or, like, zone you out. And if you've got 50 meter to make it safe, you can just... You're in there. It's your turn now. All right. So that's it. Now, you might be like, oh, Juna, this could be. No way he's that easy. You didn't tell me anything. He's that easy. Trust me. We're going to play some games right now. I'm going to do exactly what I told you. 
nothing fancy, super, super, super basic combo, super, super basic everything, and I'm gonna win. Trust me, I'm gonna win. So anyway, just, just stay tuned, watch, and learn. All right, finally we got someone the decent connection, I hope. But here we go. So like I said, I'm gonna be just going forward and get, all right, I'm in. See, there it is, right? I'm in, he's crouching, so I do the combo I showed you. Launch, BC, BC, BC. Right? Ragna, Ragna is like cooler uh, than Alto, but right, Ragna's got long range. I do not. Pressure reset. There's all the A starter, so I gotta go for the ender here. See? You see how I did the, uh... Now he's gonna DP. <laughs> I messed up the punish there. Come here, you. There's the combo again. And as you see, I'm just... I'm staying on top. I'm just trying to stay right in his face. Because every cat... Oh, it's like every cat in this game will outrange you. Come here. So this is a neutral, right? So this is not where I want to be. I need to get close. I gotta just run, right? Just run. Come here. I'm still running. Pressure reset. And there it is, right? Eventually, if you stay on top and just keep doing those block strings, eventually he's gonna crack. Overhead. I messed up the combo, but we'll take it. Overhead. There's that running DP like I taught you. Running DP like I taught you. Do it again. Running DP like I taught you. I'll never lose. He's got the best DP. It hits like... It's only if you do the enhanced version. If you do the enhanced version, it hits like six times or some crazy thing. The thing about running DP is like, don't RC. Do it first, and then if it doesn't work, then you can RC. Here's the combo. BC, BC, DP. Not flashy, but... Again, BC, BC. Staying right where I want him. Hey, hey. He had to burst. Just like I told, just like I told you, I'm sorry. There's no tricks, right? There's no fancy tricks. If you watch a Kokunoi video, you're like, man, where are these cool setups? He doesn't have them. He's not that kind of character. You have to run forward like a bull. Just stay on top of him to press buttons. What buttons do you press? You might be asking. You press all of them. 5A, 2A, 5B, 2B, 5C, 3C. Just cycle through your Gatlings. And then when you finish, reset with Rekka and do it all over again. Like we got another match. All right, let's try it again. Sorry, we've been suffering through the 300 ping monsters now. Against the Kagura. So again, gonna just be doing what I told you guys. Gonna be running in this phase, doing this combo. BC, BC, DP. And there it is. Hey. Here it is again. The one... Oh, I messed up, but... I don't like it. I'm gonna DP out. Now you DP. No? You guys wanna see my combo? There it is. I got 50 meter. Like I told you, too. Once I got 50 meter, use that enhanced DP on wake up, on their wake up, your wake up in neutral. DP again, let's go. Hey, hey, that was off an A starter there, so I had to do the different ender on the combo. That's the only real thing you gotta... Overhead, pop, pop, to the corner you go. Overhead. Again, launching or whatever. <laughs> I'm not trolling. You see what I did right there? I'm not trolling. I'm trying to be funny. His DP is that strong. You should learn it. That That's important to learn. The dash DP, the dash special to neutral. Don't worry about the, the ones mid combo. Woo, but neutral, definitely learn it. There it is again. I hope you guys are picking up my... There we go. And you see that? That's very, very important what happened right there. That was the, the, the roll tech trap that I talked about earlier. Pressure reset. Oh, he got out. Okay. DP again. Run DP again. Run DP again. Run. Thank you for blocking. Oh, it was not a punish. I could have blocked that. Run DP again. Ah, my reaction. Run DP again. I'm doing the run DP, it's hitting, but I'm doing when I have meter. I'm not, all right, listen, listen very carefully. Do not see what I just did. Do not do that. Do not try that at home, kids, unless you have meter. You need to have the meter 
to RC to make it safe. But a lot of times it's so powerful that it hits, right? It hits. If it doesn't, if it's blocked, RC, make it safe, keep the pressure going. But it's very, very effective. All right, here we go. One more, one more. This time against my, my ex-girlfriend S. I miss playing S. But again, S is a character really long range normals. So she'll outrange me. So what am I going to do? I'm just going to run right in her face. Do my one combo. Knock her down. Keep her right on top. Overhead. He blocked, but roll back. Okay. We'll take it. BC, BC, air. Fine. I got a DP too. Again, my one combo. There it is, right? Just keep that block string going. It's going to hit. I'll show you after. It's just, there's nothing fancy. It's 5A, 2A, right? 5A, 5B. Just cycle through the Gatlin. And again, just keeping that pressure going. There it is again. Uh-uh. Yeah, he's gonna DP, I think. Run up DP in his face instead. I told you when I, when I when I made this video at the start, you guys probably think I was like, Juno, there's nothing, you're not saying anything. This is how easy it is. Wreck a launch, BC, BC, knockdown, and then pressure reset. See? I snuck in so that I used the wrecker right there to sneak in a little reset to stay on front. Overdrive. Damn it. I'm gonna win. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See how my DP beat. Oh, I messed up. But see how my DP beat his super? It's because his DP is multiple hits. Really, really strong. Alright, that's enough. Let's just, let's go. Let's go back. I don't know. I it's really that easy. So there you go. Just like I explained, those weren't the best players, but I mean, if you've been watching the stream the past day, I've been destroying like serious, serious, serious Nalto players with that very, very basic game plan strategy. So again, just run in. You neutral. You need to run in. You got to get close to make him scary. So the blocking I was doing, it's because his his close range drums are really good. They don't push him far away, so you can do really long strings like that, right? So just kind of do whatever. I, I'm I don't know what to tell you. Just do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Just make sure you mix up the lows, right? Make sure you use a lot of 2A, a lot of 2B. And then if they're blocking too long, you, you feel like uh, you can sneak it in. Bring in the 6A, the overhead right there. And then the pressure reset, again, as I explained before, that's probably the most important part of it. The first hit of the Rekka to bring you back close on top of them so you can keep this pressure going right there. As I said, you want to keep the pressure going like this. But if they start to mash after that, you know, if they feel like, oh, I know it's not real. I'm going to mash and take my turn. That's when you do the second hit. So something like this, right? Pause, second hit. And then you get a fatal counter. You get a big-ass combo again, right? Just, it's, you need to put the fear of pressing a button in their face. So pause, second hit, launch. And then again, like I showed you. And that can, you can actually murder them too, by the way. I don't have that combo. If you want to learn this character for real, you can learn it. But like, if you get by the second hit of that, it's huge damage. But again, mostly just use mostly just use one hit Rekka, right? Mostly just use the one hit Rekka and then use the second to check them if they if they, they start mashing like that. The combo, like I said, you know, I don't need to show it again. You you've seen it a million times. I just do one combo. The Nalto players might might yell at you, why are you doing that? It's not real, but it's real. It works. Three thousand damage plus the position, right? That's the big thing. The big thing is the position, as I mentioned, where it leaves you and your opponent just right there, right in front of them, right where you want to be. That's what makes it so scary. That lets you just keep this pressure going. So just do that combo. That's all you need. And then as I showed as well, this. I don't know how many DPs I did in the match, but if you have 50 meter, just get comfortable doing dash DP. It's really not that hard, right? You can definitely get this, right? This is very, very easy day one stuff. Being able to do it mid combo out of a sway, now that's a different story. But this one is fine, even though I'm messing it up now. If you got 50 meter, they block. Da -da -da -da. All right, that's it. Again, there's nothing fancy, right? This is just a beginner guide, and it, it works. This works. Don't let any of the Nalta players tell you that you have to learn this crazy stuff. You have to learn the sway cancel, in the dash cancel, in the phantom pain dash cancel, whatever. It's all BS. Worry about that much, much later if you decide to stick with the character. At the start, pick them up, learn footsies, learn neutral. That's what the important thing is. Uh, if you don't believe me, come watch the stream. How many Nalto players have I beaten this, these past two days? I think I've taken like 30 bodies. Nobody's been able to beat me. None of them. You should be embarrassed. You guys should be embarrassed. This is what happens if you put too much focus on your, your fancy combos and you don't learn the basics, right? It's going to come back to haunt you later on. But yeah, that's it. 
for Nato. I'm done. I'll never learn his advanced combos, but I'm always down to play Nato Mirror with any of you guys. No problem. Uh, for next character, I don't know. Will we do another character? I'm not sure. What do you guys want to see? I'm thinking maybe Kagura. I might lean towards Kagura or might just go for an easy character like mine. I don't know. But let me know in the comments who you want to see in the next one. Uh, let me know if this helps you out. And let me know if you got any other beginner Nato tips. But like always, if you're still watching, thank you. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.